thank you. So welcome to Fabulous Freebies, No Cost AT and Low Cost Adaptation Ideas. I am Laura Martinez. I'm the Assistive Technology Program Manager at TASC. Good morning, and I'm Elizabeth Ortega, Assistive Technology Specialist at TASC. I just wanted to point out my favorite cartoon. Um, a lot of times technology is so helpful, but it can be super expensive. So we're going to show you some uh, low and no cost ideas that hopefully will uh, help your child or students or yourself possibly. Uh, we have a wide variety of things to show you. So let's get started. A little bit about task first. Task is a nonprofit. Um, we are a parent training information center. We serve six counties in Southern California. And our mission is to educate and empower people with disabilities and their families to become effective communicators and self advocates. Our disclaimer is that task staff are not advocates or attorneys. We do not provide recommendations, legal advice, or suggestions. Our family support specialists offer peer-to-peer -peer support, information, and options to parents of children with disabilities so they can become informed members of the IEP team and work collaboratively with schools. Our family support specialists help families understand the special education process by providing one-on-one -on -one phone consultations, virtual IEP consultations, and review of documentation, assistance with letter writing, uh, they offer a variety of educational webinars, support for military families, and information and resources. We have, we offer two online support groups, Parent Connection and Restorative Connection. Both support groups are for parents only. Parent Connection is led by task staff and meets the fourth Tuesday of the month from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And Restorative Connection is led by a mental health professional. They meet twice a month on the second and fourth Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. And within our Tech Center, we offer a variety of assistive technology webinars, individualized online lab appointments. If you're looking for specific apps, um, software, websites, we can schedule a one hour appointment via Zoom and I can show you what we have and what we know of. We also offer assistive technology consultations clinics um, for our AAC, Augmentative and Alternative Communication Services, we have Project Communicate, in which we offer a free one-hour AAC consultation with a speech-language pathologist. If you'd like more information regarding our free one-hour AAC consultation, you can contact me. Uh, we have Tech Connection, which is an online social life skill groups for ages 14 and above. And we have a lot of information and resources on assistive technology. We have an assistive technology focused e newsletter that goes out once a month, um, Tech Tidbits from Task. If you would like to receive it, you can visit the website listed on the slide, plug in your name and email address and you'll start receiving it the following month. And before Laura begins, I do wanna let you know that I will send you a copy of the presentation um, after the webinar to the email address you use to register to today's webinar. Thank you, Liz. Okay, we're going to get started. I'm going to start out with some DIY or do it yourself uh, low tech ideas. Um, this is one of my favorite low tech examples. This uh, smart woman is using a hanger, a clippy hanger, to hold open her cookbook while she cooks. That's low tech. So we'll start with book adaptation or what we call fluffing. And the idea of book fluffing is uh, oftentimes young children or persons with uh, motoric issues have trouble getting their fingers in between the pages to turn the page. Uh, with this, if you put in sponges, pom-poms, different, anything to separate the page, then it's easier to get a finger in there or um, a pencil or something that will help uh, get in there and turn those pages. So here are ideas, uh, things that you can use to um, 
fluff or turn pages or add textures to books for someone who's visually impaired. Um, can use puffy paint or tongue depressors. We'll show you some pictures, ideas. Um, large paper clips, you can stick them on the pages to help turn those pages. Binder clips or the little um, plastic hair clips work great. Uh, furniture bumpers, shower curtain rings, you name it, we've tried it. Um, here are some pictures of some adapted books. So these are contact lens holders to help turn the pages. And then there's um, pom-poms to space the page even more. Um, tongue depressors, and these are numbered. Um, you, can't, you can or you don't have to number them. This one has um, popsicle sticks that are color coded. And then they're inside the book, there are little things you can pull. So we added string that you can hang, you know, hang on to. And then this book has um, little round sponges. Uh, the, the thicker card, cardstock, cardboard type books work best, but you can um, adapt regular books as well. Some ideas, some quick ideas for adapting puzzles. Sometimes it's hard for uh, little hands or um, people again with uh, motoric uh, issues to actually grab that puzzle. So things you can think about to adapt puzzles, uh, make the handles larger. So this is an example of um, a puzzle that you can buy that has handles on it, but they're little tiny nubs. And someone with um, motoric <laughs> um, trouble he may not be able to have that much fine motor um, dexterity. So we can add a larger handle or something thicker, which I'll show you pictures of. Um, just kind of think outside the box. What, what can we do to help this person access whatever they're trying to do? Another idea is um, for someone with a visual impairment, add textures to the puzzle, um, different kinds of cloth, uh, wiki sticks, um, which are little wax. Uh, it looks like string dipped in wax, um, little pieces of sandpaper, things like that. Uh, some puzzles come, wooden puzzles come without um, the design inside and it's really hard to match. So I'm gonna show you in a second an idea for that. And then uh, for someone that's using maybe a wheelchair tray where things move around, another thing you can do if it's hard to get them to stick, you can use Velcro or magnets on the pieces and also inside the puzzle. So here are some different handles that we've made out of different things. So PVC pipe, the T-bar, um, dowels that we've cut down, drawer handles. Uh, we've used uh, empty thread spools, uh, different knobs and drawer pulls, buttons. Uh, it just really depends uh, what you're trying to do. Uh, here's an example of a puzzle that we got back when Target had the dollar spot. Now it's more than a dollar. But um, this puzzle, when we took the pieces out, was just blank cardboard inside. And so trying to match those puzzle pieces was a little difficult for some of our kiddos. So we went ahead and outlined each puzzle piece and to make a guide where they could put the pieces. And then we went a step further and numbered the pieces so that if you're working on matching, um, counting, things like that. And you could use with that, other than numbers, you could do stickers that matched or colors, you know, color dots, anything you want. So here are a couple little tricks for um, if you have trouble holding cards. Um, sometimes it's hard for little hands or people with motor issues or arthritis to hold cards. So here are some different ideas, an egg carton, hairbrush, pool noodle, 
just a regular clothespin or a chip clip works great. Here's an idea for someone that's trying to use a mouse. And some, sometimes when we have um, motor issues or hand-eye coordination issues, when we're moving our mouse, um, it might take a lot of work to get that pointer to where you want it. And when you go to hit click, you accidentally hit right click or the wrong button and it doesn't get you what you want. So this is just a simple solution. Just get a toy ring, take off the decorative part, sand the mouse, the left mouse button a little bit and the ring a little bit, glue that down. Now they can just stick their finger in and that's where then they know where the clicker is. Quick finger isolation on an iPad. Sometimes we have um, people, especially young children that wanna set their whole hand or need to set their whole hand on the iPad. You just take a glove, cut the index finger off, and now um, they can still rest their hand where they need to, but the, um, the movement will still work. The finger will still work on the iPad. Some quick and easy adaptations for toys, for doorknob. I'll start with my dice roller. Um, sometimes, um, I remember when my daughter was a little kid, every time we played a, a game with dice, somebody would roll the dice and one would roll off the table and under the couch and we're trying to find them. This is a simple way. I took, um, these were four for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, just little Tupperware with lids. The bottom has to be clear so you can see. Put the dice in there, put the lid on, shake it, dump it over, and there's your adapted dice roller. This is an action figure that we've put a poker chip on the bottom and a shower curtain ring on the back. So now it's easier to pick up and um, stay steady when you set it down. The bottom, we have a quick adapted doorknob. Some people have trouble twisting the round doorknob and if you can't afford or you don't have time to get the adapted long uh, doorknob, this is a simple way or quick fix, temporary fix. Um, use uh, foam tubing and we'll have uh, resources for all of these at the end of each section. Foam, foam tubing and either a zip tie or a heavy rubber band, put it around that doorknob and now you have an easy way to open the handle. Plastic eggs, plastic Easter eggs. There was a time I had just hundreds of them. Um, just ideas, if you have some setting around, recycle them, make matching games. Uh, if you're working on addition, subtraction, multiplication, um, put the answer on the bottom, questions on the top or you twist the eggs or you match the pieces. Um, here's an example of time, spelling. So hog, log, you know, dog, you just twist. Um, synonyms and then matching small and large alphabet, but you could basically do anything um, you want to. These are just ideas. So here are some ideas for adapted writing. So uh, we're gonna show you some paper that you can download for free if you want um, adapted different types of paper. But if you're um, working with someone that has trouble either seeing the line or um, staying, you know, staying on that line on the paper for any reason, uh, one idea is to use Elmer's glue to trace the lines, then when it dries, you have a raised line paper. So it's easier to stay on that line um, and you can feel the difference. Wiki sticks, which I talked about a minute ago, they basically, if you don't know what they are, they look like if you took a piece of string and dipped it in wax and they're pliable and they're also reusable. So you can 
um, put it on the line or whatever it is you want. And then when you're done, just take it off and reuse it on something else. Highlighters or bold line markers, um, depending on if you have a visual impairment, you need to be able to see uh, the line more easily, or if you want it to just stand out, that's another idea to adapt the paper. For adapting pencils, we're gonna show you some examples, but sponge rollers, 10 for a dollar at the dollar store. Um, take the sponge, the actual sponge part off, put it on your pencil or pen, and you now have a pencil grip that's soft. Model Magic is made by Crayola, and what it is, it's air dry clay. So you can put this clay molded in any shape you want to make a customized pencil grip, let it dry, um, even right on the pencil, and in 24 hours you have a nice grip. Tennis ball, it's kind of old school, but a tennis ball, you can poke hole in the top and the bottom, put your pen or pencil through that, and then you have, uh, um, sorry, an adapted grip. You can also use foam tubing, which we'll show you, PVC types and pipes and tubes. And then there's a rubber band grip, which I'll show you. So here are all my pictures. Um, of different things. This one in the middle is a simple, small binder clip. You just clip it over the pencil. And now you've got your, um, put your, I'm pointing, sorry. Put your um, index finger in the top. And then you've got that, that nice um, support for a grip. Here's the tennis ball I was talking about. Here is an adapted, grip made out of model magic. These are the um, sponge rollers, different sizes for different things. And this is a rubber band grip. You just simply put a rubber band on your wrist, twist it once, put the pencil through. And what it does is it gives you that tension so that it helps with your pencil grip. Here are resources for all the things we've talked about up to this point. So Dollar Tree is the place. Um, that's where we get our chip clips, hairbrushes, clips, foam rollers. They have great glue dots that you just peel off um, a piece of paper and stick on to things, um, paper clips, pool noodles, things like that, great place for adaptations. You can get Crayola Model Magic at these different places for PVC pipes and tubes. I usually do Ace Hardware, but you can do Home Depot or Lowe's. And then Therapro has foam tubing, which is really super helpful. It's kind of um, got a nice give to it. You can cut it down to whatever size you want, use it for grips for toothbrushes, pencils, pens, um, you name it, forks, spoons, things like that. And then wiki sticks you can get at most places um, that sell craft supplies, Target, Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, places like that. Liz, we okay on questions? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Sorry. Oh, make your own weighted pencils. So um, this is just kind of, um, to get an idea if a weighted pencil is something that's gonna be helpful for your child, yourself, or your student, you can use, um, not bolts, nuts, metal nuts. And a rubber band, put a rubber band at the top of your pencil, crayon, pen, put how many other metal nuts on that you want at the weight that you want, and then put another rubber band and you have a weighted um, pencil. And this is a picture of uh, one that you can buy um, that you slip on, but this does the same thing. 
Okay, so here's specialized, um, different kinds of specialized writing paper, and they can be used for many different things. You know, some have boxes you can put each letter in, some have um, different lines that help with legibility or um, learning to, to write upper and lower case. Um, some have bold lines for persons with low vision. There's just all kinds of types. The problem is when you're um, buying them to test them out, the packages tend to be really expensive and you don't know which kind you need. So we found, dun, 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 we found a bunch of sites for you that have printable um, different types of paper that you can print out. So um, depending on where you um, go, let's see if our internet's cooperating. Depending on what you choose, you can choose different types of paper. Some of these are for members only and some are free. I'm not on the free. Um, there's different types of paper you can print out. Um, some of the things, some of the um, items where you become a member, you just sign up and it's free. Here, so here's different types of papers you can download. So you can choose from 40 different Templates, it's not letting me. Here's different graph paper, grid paper. Writing paper to practice different things. And it's as simple as just downloading a PDF and printing it out. Okay. So there's a bunch of different kinds there for you to look at and try out. So we're going to move on to um, built-in accessibility features. So all computers, tablets, phones, um, any kind of, um, yeah, computer or tablet, they all have different accessibility features that are designed to help people with disabilities get things done more easily. Um, here are some features. There are so many, um, it would be hard to go through them all, but I just wanted to give you an idea um, what's available plus tons more. So they're on computers, they have text-to-speech, voice to text, screen magnifiers, you can enlarge the cursors or the print, um, invert the text or do high contrast themes, which is um, much easier to read. So maybe like a back background with white writing so it stands out. There are on-screen keyboards for people who um, can't use a regular keyboard. There are different um, mouse keys and different functions. And then on tablets, there are so many different types of um, features that we use. Guided access is a really cool feature in which um, you can lock the person into a specific app so they can't press that home button and get out and go on YouTube or whatever it is. There are different settings for switch control, assistive touch, which are gestures. Um, maybe if you can't do a specific gesture, you can set up your own gesture, or maybe you just move your finger and it takes you out of whatever you're in. Uh, colored filters I'm gonna talk about, closed captioning, speak screen, there's so many awesome things built in. So for each, type of um, device, there are different accessibility features. So what I did was I put a link for each. So if you have a Windows computer, a Mac computer, a Chromebook, an iPad or Android device, you can simply click on whatever it is that you um, have. Again, you're gonna get copies 
of the handouts, which will have all these links for you. So I clicked on Apple accessibility just so you can get an idea. And um, you, there are so many things that you can do that are built in. Um, so you can make things larger um, very simply. So there's all different, here's vision features. So you can scroll through and see the different things that you can do that have to do with vision. Um, go back. So there are um, features for um, mobility, for hearing, for focus and attention, and they have a ton for cognitive features. So all kinds of different things. And if you're interested in any of these in more depth, um, please check out these. Um, they have great tutorials and information. And then I have a couple other websites that I want to show you. So those are just information on all the accessibility features that are built in on computers and tablets. And then here are some helpful accessibility tutorials done by different um, people. This tech ease for all, when you click on it, you'll get the choices. Sorry, waiting for my computer. You can go in under whatever it is that you want help on. I clicked on learning. And so now this is going to tell me how to get to certain things in certain. Um, and again, you can go to Mac, Windows. There's all different things. Um, different sections. And then Luis Perez is um, just a genius when it comes to accessibility features. And he has some great online tutorials as well. Everybody okay on questions? Yes. Okay. So um, there are free assistive downloads either software, apps, or extensions that I'm gonna run through, show you. Um, just quick explanation of Chrome for those who don't know. So there's the Google Chrome browser, which many of us use as our um, internet browser. And there's also the Google search engine, but then there's Chrome, a Chrome operating system. And then there's a Chrome book, which is a laptop. So on the Chrome browser, you have the option of downloading an extension. And what an extension does is it adds a button when you download it, it adds a button to your browser bar that um, basically has different func functionalities. And all of these can be found at the, the Google Chrome web store under extensions. So let's start with reading supports. So I tried to put some of, of each thing. Screen color filters, basically, um, I hope you can see the picture here. Basically what they do is put a film or a colored background on whatever you're working on, whether it's the internet, your email, your documents. Um, instead of looking at, staring at that bright white screen, it puts a color film over the top. Um, here are two that you can download for free on your computer. In the iPad, on the iPad, there's built-in accessibility feature. It looks like this, and you can just choose the color. And you just, you can turn your tint on and off. And then this is what, um, the computerized ones look like. It just makes a film over your whole 
window that you can turn on and off. Free magnifier downloads. So here are a couple for the computer. Um, Iconico, and then the virtual magnifying glass. And then if you're uh, a Chrome extension person like me, there's a met one called magnifying glass that you can use as well. Um, the only negative to actual magnifier on um, the on the computer is that many of them are look like a magnifying glass, so you have to move them around. And for some people, it kind of makes you a little seasick. For other people, they work great. So again, they're free. Try them out. Two apps that I use personally. Um, one is called the Big Magnify, and basically, it's a I have mine on my phone, but you um, can put it on your phone or your iPad and you can um, basically use it to magnify anything. Like you have a splinter, you need to read a pill bottle, a menu, small, tiny writing on anything. Um, and then the Supervision Plus magnifier is also really good. Again, if you need to read anything um, on both of these, it magnifies and then you can also take a still image. And if you need to magnify more, you can use the built-in magnifier um, and make it even larger. So gonna talk about eBooks for a minute. So eBooks are basically um, a book that's been converted to digital to a digital format. So it can either be read allowed on a computer or a mobile device. So here are just some different um, resources for you. So Apple Books, some of them cost, some of them are free. Uh, Bookshare. Bookshare, if you have a student or if you yourself has a print disability, Bookshare is a great site if I can get to it. With Bookshare, you do have to have a membership, but what it does, um, in order to get a free membership through your school district, you just have to have a print disability, meaning a visual impairment, a specific learning disability, or a um, motoric disability where you can't hold and um, turn the pages. And what it does is it gives you access to over a million different books. Um, um, regular reading for pleasure type books, but also um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, textbooks that are in um, the digital format. So that's Bookshare. Uh, the Kindle app is what I use. I use it on my iPad. Tons of books. Um, some are free, some are paid. But uh, what's nice about them is, again, if you have it on an app, in a digital format, you can make the text larger, you can invert the colors, you can change things to make them easier to read. Learning Ally used to be recording for blinded dyslexic. Again, with Learning Ally, you do need a uh, subscription. Uh, on their website, it does tell you uh, what a qualifying what a qualifying disability is for that subscription. For lit to go, it's simply um, free, older um, books. I mean, really older. But um, you can either read them online or you can um, download passages or just listen to them. I am going to copy this for something in a minute. Snag some text there. Overdrive, there are they have different apps or different things depending on your library, but your local 
public libraries have um, digital books that you can check out for free. Um, if, you, if you need a digital format, I recommend going through your library. Um, sometimes the app is called something else depending on where you live. And then, sorry, and then Project Gutenberg is another free site for books. So to read those books, once you have it in a digital format, I have some different um, things for you. Natural Reader comes in um, both uh, software and it also comes as a Google Chrome extension. Uh, there's a free version and then the full upgraded version is $99.50. And then Read Please is also a text-to-speech program that's available um, as software. Um, for apps, again, there are so many. We have 3,300 apps. So just trying to give you an idea of what's out there. Um, some of the apps that we really like for text-to-speech, the Dolphin Easy Reader, you can't beat because it's free and it has so many different um, options. I think I have a video here. Just a warning, sometimes the videos are louder. So if they are, somebody let me know and I'll turn it down. If you're over 40 and it's become wow. impossible for you to lose weight yeah. or keep it off, there's a new Asian loophole that melts or dyslexic? Access your favorite libraries with the free Easy Reader app. Browse for a new bestseller or search for an old favorite. Follow along with perfectly synchronized text. It was the best time of day, the July sky cloudless. Change the text size, pick a color, add a highlight, or tweak the speed. The July sky cloudless, the slowly setting sun, a spotlight on the east. Get your newspapers delivered direct. Or copy and paste text from anywhere and Easy Reader will read it. Los Angeles is a sprawling Southern California city and the center of the nation's film and television industry. Download Easy Reader from the App Store now. Easy Reader, a better way to read. Okay, and Easy Reader was created for um, people who are blind as well as uh, folks with learning disabilities. Um, I would encourage you to, to try it out. Another great one is called ClaroSpeak. There's a free version and a 999 version. And with Claro, there is an app and there's also a Google Chrome extension. And then I put in another Google Chrome extension called Natural Reader. Okay, this is a website and also um, they have an app that you can download. This is uh, called Newzella and what they have is really cool. It's called text leveled reading. They have news and nonfiction. They have daily articles that they write at five different reading levels. Uh, let's go to the website. Come on. Okay, so they do ask you to create an account. Um, the account, you can create a free account. What you have every day is um, the latest news. So they take different news articles. So we'll just go with this one. World's biggest triceratops skeleton. Well, for 7.7 .7 million. Okay, so we have different um, text levels. This tells me we're at text level four or at 730 Lexile level, but I can adjust this anywhere from a three, 370 Lexile level, which is a text level two. And I want you to see um, the difference in the first um, couple of lines. Let's, sorry. 
world's biggest triceratops skeleton sells for seven dollars seven million in paris by associated press adapted by newsula staff published november 30th 2021 big john is a dinosaur skeleton it is the world's biggest triceratops it was sold to a collector in paris france the sale was on october 21st many people wanted to buy the dinosaur okay. the winner of so i'm gonna switch levels to the higher level and so now the text is um different and it's harder and a little more um, detailed now you have the option to read aloud you can have the students read it themselves or you can use another type of screen reader um, if you want so i'm going to highlight here yeah. And if I wanted to, I could use any of my Google Chrome extensions to read it. Um, when you're on the website, one cool thing that you can do is there are activities. So um, Newzella always has a writing prompt. So what's the main idea of the text? What details from the story? But you can, if you um, sign up as a teacher, you can go in and um, make your own writing prompts, which are really cool, or you can put in different, um, different things for each student that, that may need to go in there. So besides the daily content, there's also um, different text sets and topics. They have Spanish articles, you can do science, social studies. If you're looking for a specific um, topic, you can search for that topic and it'll pull up all the text sets for that topic. So that's Newzella. Rewordify. So this is kind of a cool um, website. So with Rewordify, you can cut and paste text Maybe it's complex text, it's, it's hard to understand. And what it'll do is rewordify it, which I'm gonna show you, uh, and make it easier to read. Come on. So I grabbed some text from that website earlier it was Shakespeare so I'm going to paste that in there and hit rewordify so this is my original text and if I go up to rewordify what it's done is taken certain um, words re um rewritten it and now if I click on huge ships it'll tell me the original the original word Argosies middle class so the words that they may not know it'll give um um whoops it'll give different choices and then you can print out um you have different sorry you have different choices for printouts you can print out the vocabulary with definitions uh, word bank different things that you might need to work on to understand that particular text free website here are a couple other free websites these are text summarization tools so um Basically, it's like the, um, I don't know what they call it now, back in my day, they called it the Cliff Notes version or the short version. If you have a lot of text to read, you can go to any, either of these sites. Paste in your text. I'm just gonna use the same text. And then I can decide how much of that text I want. And it will, Maybe this is too difficult of text. Yeah. 
be a lead to normal to Texas giving me a sad face. But what it does is typically, I think I need easier text. What it does is usually edits down the text to a more concise, maybe like uh, three lines instead of, you know, five lines. And then summarize this does uh, similar. So accessing the computer, some people just need help with um, the physical part of accessing the computer. Maybe they can't use a regular mouse um, for whatever reason or a keyboard. This is a free program called the Camera Mouse that you can download and it works with your webcam either a separate or built-in webcam. You do need the computer and you download the software. And what it does is, you can see the square here, you can cal you calibrate it once you download it. And I always do it to the middle between my eyes, but you can do your nose or one eye. And what happens is um, once you calibrate it, wherever you're, you, you're looking, your mouse pointer goes to that point. Now, when your mouse pointer gets to where you want it and you're not able to, you have to be able to depress that, right, to click. So they have what's called dwell software that you that's built in that you can set up. So if I have my dwell set to two seconds, once I get my mouse where I want it, it'll sit there for two seconds and press. Uh, I hope that makes sense. For more information, if you go to cameramouse.org, they have frequently asked questions. Um, it does have a learning curve to try to control with another part of your body, but um, it has been useful for many, many people. So for people that need help um, learning how to use a mouse, so many of our kiddos are in the swipe generation where they're so used to um, tablets or phones, many of them don't understand the concept of using a mouse because they're used to that direct touch. So here are some different mouse tutorials. And um, basically there are different ones. Let me do this one actually. This one's really simple. Wherever you move, move the mouse pointer to touch the squirrel. I move it, he moves. So it's that practicing moving that mouse. <laughs> and then once you um, get to that, there are different um, things you can work on. Left click, right click, double click, dragging and dropping. Um, there are different, so there are different things you can work on and dragging. So all these are good um, mouse tutorials. And then here are three different keyboarding sites if you're looking um, or if you have someone that needs to learn um, touch typing or even just getting familiar where, with where the keys are. A lot of these programs help with that, at least familiarizing yourself with the keyboard even if you're a two finger typer or whatever, um, however you need to type. Okay, communication and picture symbols. So um, many people that need visual supports, um, the, the um, symbols can be expensive or you have to have a subscription. I'm gonna flip the slide and then go back. I have um, some websites here for you where you can look up free picture symbols and just do a search to find what you're looking for. Um, the other thing you can do is Google pictures. I use Google a lot and just Google different pictures. But in here, you can look for a specific word So I put in happy and here's all my choices for happy. 
So yeah, happy new year, happy birthday. And whatever you want to choose, you can just um, download it. So many to choose from. I'm going to go back up. This is a free visuals engine um, from Connectability in Canada. And what's so nice about this, whoops, sorry, my Zoom bar is in the way. There we go. Is if you go to Connectability to their visuals engine, you can create visual supports right on right away using either their pictures or grabbing pictures from um, from online. And under their visuals engine, um, it does give you instructions. And then it gives you ideas over here for different uses. So choice boards, circle time boards, schedules, mini schedules, and it gives you just ideas and or things. I click on I want. And then it'll give you ideas, um, which templates you can use, things like that. For simplicity, I'm just going to do a four image page to save time. So here's some visual supports. Maybe it's snack time. And we want to have snack choices. So I can just go in and put in, I cannot type today. So maybe I want applesauce, you can put in a, if they didn't have it, I could go to upload. I could have gone to Google, downloaded um, pictures and then upload them right from my computer. You can choose pictures like picture symbols or photos, depending on um, the need. Oh, I have to do fish forever. <gasps> Let's see. There we go. Again, so you can just go in and choose put the label, let's see. Oh, there's no presses, how about a cookie? So you would put in your labels and then you can either print it or save it as a PDF. There we go. And then there's my PDF. So I didn't put my labels in, but now I have choices. I can cut these out. I can laminate them. I can cut them out. I can put them on things, make a choice board. Um, so we can choose our snack and then you can go out, come back in and then, you know, make as many others as you want. So that's the um, Connectability Canada Visuals Engine. Uh, here are some free augmentative and alternative communication apps. I'm gonna actually um, stop sharing here and share my iPad just so I can show you a couple of them. So on the Apple or iPad side, um, Avaz, which is a great app, has a light version that you can download um, that you can use for a limited amount of time. Go Talk Now has a light version as well. And then Chatterboards AAC does. On the Android side, we have Nikki Talk and Jab Talk. I'm gonna show you a Vaz and Go Talk Now, and then we'll jump back in. Really? Okay. 
There we are. Okay, so I'm going to start with a vase. So I do have the full version, but um, what I like about a vase is when you first set it up, you can um, create a new user and it'll actually walk you through, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll actually walk you through um, uh, and ask questions about that user and set it up for that person. But I wanted to show you there are all kinds of different things that you can um, turn on or off, high contrast, um, different color coding, zoom on select, core word, just there, it's very um, customizable. There's also this thing called dashboard, which I love. It has um, practice for parents and professionals um, or for, you know, whoever's your, uh, your communicators, communication partner and it will walk you through, let's discuss what happened at school or let's read a book. And what it does is um, you can go into practice now and then um, pick sentences and then it will show on the device exactly where to find that. Actions. I hope that makes sense. So I just wanted to show you that part because I think it's cool. Okay. Okay. So the layout for a vase, you can either have, you can customize, but this is, you can have folders like a regular communication system, or you can press up here, keyboard, for someone who types, and then there's word prediction up here, and then there's symbol and word prediction down here. So I'm gonna go back to pictures and feel. And then you have to find different words. Describe. Yucky. I feel yucky. So, and then under each folder. Actions. So under actions. And then I have to figure out, oh, at the top. So if I pick the word eat, it's gonna give me past tense. Whoops, it went away. Gonna give me the eat. past tense, eight eaten, eat, eats, eating, will eat. So you can choose. Eaten. Which my sentence structure is horrible there, but I just wanted to show you that. And then there's different, um, they have a core words section, which will switch you to your most commonly used words um, uh, throughout the day or in our language, which are core words. Need. Miss. And then they have an alert button or, oh, this one usually says I made a mistake. I made a mistake. And that's the call button. Anyway, Avaz does so much. Um, they have so much built in and they have live help. Um, they are in India, so they uh, do have different, um, different hours than we do. But every time I log in, there's someone available. So that's a vase. And then the next one I wanna show you is um, Go Talk Now. And with Go Talk Now, there's the light version. You get five free pages. And when you um, 
download or open GoTalk, it's blank. So you have to create your own pages or you can download um, page sets that other people. So there are different ones that you can download for free. Four words. And they go pretty quickly. Or you can go in and there are pre-made sets from other people that you can download as well. Or you can create your own pages. Um, I actually have fun creating my own pages. Uh, you can also, if someone has GoTalk and they've created a page set, like say at school, you can download that page set, transfer and download that page set to your device. So I'm adding what I'm downloading. So now that's one of my choices. I'm gonna go to my player. And now that's the board I just um, downloaded. I feel. Now it popped up to a feeling page. I said happy. In GoTalk, wow, sorry, there's a delay. You have um, lots of things you can do to create, um, things you can move to, things like that. This is theirs. You have to hold down the button on home to get out for what feels like forever. So you can set up auditory cues. You can have to have a passcode for the player to exit. You can, um, there's all kinds of things you can do and have scanning built in. It's just lovely. I wanted to show my Oh, there's also image libraries you can download. There are pre-made books, or you can make your own. I want to show you what the light one looks like just because it looks a little different. So I started working on this the other day but I didn't finish. So the idea was, um, I don't know what happened to my food. I'm hungry. But hungry. I'm hungry. Is gonna lead you to a refrigerator. And then I'm gonna have buttons set up that say, I want juice, please, water, please, you know, piece of fruit, things like that. I need a break. So I need a break. I need a break. Jump would jump us to a page maybe of choices. Like that. So um go talk now, especially the light version is um sorry. Is a great um app to practice on and make things. And we have some um, already made cool boards. If you're interested in seeing what more, what some of these apps and different things can do, again, in case you came in late, you can make a lab appointment, virtual lab appointment with Liz. Um, and she can show you different um, options and different things. So I'm on my iPad. We'll see how long that works. Okay, so under early learning, I wanted to point out some websites. ABC is a great website. 
Um, it is under early learning, but it does go from uh, kindergarten to fifth grade. And there are all kinds of subjects um, under math, fractions, decimals, money, measurement, place value, telling time, just tons. Um, under letters, you have antonyms, synonyms, homonyms, spelling, vocabulary, different parts of speech. And then of course there are different um, early learning things like different shapes and, and things like that. So ABC is a, is a great free website. Under DuckDuckMoose, They have, um, they're made by Khan Academy. Actually, they were acquired by Khan Academy. All of their apps are free and they have, gosh, over 40 different apps. I have videos um, to show you, but since I'm on my iPad, I might as well show you the actual apps. So Duck, Duck Moose, they have everything from um, nursery rhymes to math apps to reading apps. Here is... a black screen. We're not gonna work today. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing. That's funny how it works. I'm going back to my computer. Silly thing. Okay. So I'm going to show you the videos, but under Duck, Duck Moose apps, there are all different, like I said, um, preschool type songs, Wheels on the Bus, Old MacDonald, Itsy Bitsy. Um, and then there are different um, learning apps. I'm gonna show you videos for both. I hope the sound is okay. Earlier I was, Liz could hear it loud and I couldn't hear it at all, so please, just be prepared. Duck, duck, moose. Huh? Duck, duck, moose reading. Introducing Milo the meerkat and his sidekick Puffs. Milo learned to read with activities that show the relationships between letters and their sounds. Practice letter sounds with consonant vowel consonant words. Learn the letter sounds for consonants, short vowels, and long vowels. Keep track of student progress on the parent reporting screen. Duck Duck Moose Reading is based on the Common Core Standards and was developed with an educator from the Stanford School of Education. Hooray! You did it! Duck Duck Moose Reading. Phonics and fun for everyone. So that's just to give you an idea of um, some of the Duck Duck Moose apps. There are different ones. They have a lot different levels. Here's a math. This is Moose Math. Welcome to Moose Math, starring the Dust Bunnies. Join Moose, Yaya, Sass, Puck, and Mochi and Moko as they use math to build their city. Moose Math teaches kindergarten and first grade math skills, like addition, subtraction, geometry, and a whole lot more. The activities address Common Core standards and were designed with educators from the Stanford Graduate School of Education. The report card allows parents and teachers to monitor learning progress and offers additional skill building activities. After completing the activities, kids are given rewards to upgrade their buildings and design their very own town. This is a fun way to get their creative juices flowing. The Dust Bunnies are counting on you and hope to see you soon. Moose Math by Duck Duck Moose, available now on the App Store. Okay. So those are just some of the Duck, Duck, Moose apps. A um, couple other um, vendors for early learning apps. This RV App Studios, Liz actually discovered these a while back and they are available on iOS and Android. 
They have a ton of free titles um, from baby games on up. Here's one. Oh, I guess I took out the link. Um, they have all different kinds of um, fun, fun apps. Um, on the iOS and Android side, they have originator, um, originator apps, endless numbers, endless reader, and endless word play. I'm going to show you endless ABC, I believe. Away, back, ball, A, L, ball, can, 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 ball, 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 So I apologize, that one is Endless Reader. They have also Endless Alphabet and Endless Numbers. Um, lots of fun, fun apps with Originator. And how they work is they have some free, like with that one, there are certain words that are free. And then if you wanna update or upgrade, then there's a fee for all of, all to open everything. So some free math supports, this website, Math Playground, uh, what I like about it is they have different, obviously different math problems. They also have worksheets that you can download. They have manipulatives, flashcards, and videos. Um, my favorite part is that they have word problems, which uh, are tough for a lot of folks. So I just wanted to give you a look at um, the website so you can choose either by grade level or what you're looking for. Games, story math. And then if you go down here, it's almost overwhelming. They have so many different types of games um, specific to what you might be looking for. So, um, you know, fractions, thinking, uh, number puzzles, different, um, you know, there's word problems, different visual math tools, just um, lots and lots of help. And it does teach, teach you and then lets you practice different things. They are going to ask you to upgrade to premium, but you don't have to, um, but you're welcome to. But lots of great things on the free side. Another one is called Archademic Skill Builders. Uh, this one, there's a lot of games like race car games uh, and they're different um, age levels and grade levels up to sixth grade, or you can choose by subject. And they do have math subjects, um, you know, all the way to integers, money, time, um, and they even have other things like out, like um, spelling, geography, and typing games. This is one of my favorite websites. This is Khan Academy. Um, there's an app that you can use, or you can actually just go to the website. It is free. They do ask you to register for a free account. And there are just thousands of, of tutorial videos on everything from math to science to different um, test prep. Again, they do ask you to um, have an account. Where'd everything go? I'm not loading. You can go in and these are the different courses. So it's a lot. So you can go in and set up a student or your child or yourself and pick 
certain courses you want to do, or you can just go in and choose. So they have um, pre-K through eighth grade math. Then there's different like get ready for this grade, get ready for algebra, get ready for statistics. They have test prep, excuse me. They have um, higher like high school and math, high school and college math, sorry. Um, science, computing, um, reading and language arts. There's so many different courses on here. So you can go in and choose I don't know what it's doing. What is any idea? Oh, I see. It wants us to pay them. So when you get down here, um, there's a course summary. So you can skip to whatever you want, or you can just start. Here's the intro, and you can just go into the lessons. the sound turned off, it doesn't help. I don't know where my sound went. Well, it normally has sound. I do not know what's going on. There we go. A friend here likes to collect acorns because really that's how he is able to live. And let's say every day he collects exactly three acorns. And so what I'm curious about is how many acorns will he have after doing this for five days? So one way to think about it is every day he is able to collect a group of three acorns. So you could view this as maybe what he's able to collect in day one. And then in day two, he's able to collect a second group of three acorns. In day three, he's able to collect another group of three acorns. And every day- okay, So you get the idea. So there's um, videos and- The equal number of acorns and that he's- after the videos, there are usually um, practice things that you can do. Boy, they're really trying to- All my boxes are in the way, I apologize. And you can go through and try. And then you can go through and practice. So anyway, Khan Academy just has a ton of different things, um, videos, practice, explanations, you name it. Um, and again, it's free. Some free math apps I wanted to mention, um, IXL Math Practice. It's also a website that you can go on. Um, Photo Math is for more complex problems. You simply just take a picture of the um, problem and it will give you the answer. And then uh, another one called mathbyyourteacher.com has different levels, uh, similar to Khan Academy with the explanation videos. And then Total Math, um, available on iOS and Android. I have a quick video. My job is to make college easier because students have a lot on their Sorry, coach. plates. Real quick with 
this app um, before I continue. You can see here daily practice. So they have free daily activities. Um, some of the activities um, are free like the daily ones and then others um, they want you to join or pay the full price. Wanted to give you an idea of the different activities um, on Toto Math. Uh, multiple subject or miscellaneous. I um, this is a learning style survey, and we found it to be so helpful to know someone's learning style um, in order to help them obviously learn better. We all have a different learning style. We all have a different teaching style. Um, if we're trying to help our kids with homework with different things, we might be a visual learner. They might be a, a kinesthetic or, or an auditory learner. So it's important to know, um, you know what their preferred uh, learning mode is uh, in order to help them better. Uh, sometimes there are, you know, sometimes we're all of them. Maybe we need to see it, hear it, and do it. Or maybe, you know, we're stronger at one or the other. So there's a free learning style survey here online. I'm not going to do it, but I just want to show you. And the idea is it's on how to study. You go through and it asks you questions. So you can either do it with your, your kiddo or have them you know, do it depending on the age and ability. But it goes through and asks you 30 questions. And when you're done, it gives you um, the percentages of what type of learner you are. And then most importantly, it gives you different types of tips on how you might support that type of learning. For example, if someone's visual, you might use flashcards or different um, illustrations or graphs or things like that. Um, you know, oral presentations for someone who's auditory, you know, different things like that, depending on, um, you know, movement, things like that for people who are hands on. So just wanted to point that out. Turtle Diary is. Um, you know, toddler, preschool, and then K through fifth. It has uh, games by subject, um, you know, math, English, science, and then also by topic. They also have really great teaching videos and then worksheets on different topics. If you're looking for, um, you know, different types of support, you can go through and again, choose by age group or choose by actual topic. And there are a lot of topics. So I just wanted to give you an idea. Then you can go through typing lessons, worksheets, different quizzes. It's got a lot on here. Again, it's free, which is all of our favorite price. Laura? Yeah. You have four minutes. Crap, we'll hurry up. <laughs> Thank you. Here are learning games for kids. Tons and tons of um, games and videos and lessons. GCF Learn Free, great website. Um, topics like every day for every... Like everyday life, they have tutorials on how to use an ATM, how to fill out a job application, different types of computer tutorials, 
um, Microsoft Word, that kind of stuff. Interview skills, how to fill out a job application. Um, highly recommend this site. Just some other educational sites we listed. It'll be on your handout. Two um, apps. Uh, by Model Me Kids. One is Model Me Going Places. It basically is just social story on going to common places like restaurants, hairdresser, um, grocery store, things like that. Um, Autism in Motion just shows uh, different scenarios for happy, sad, excited, things like that. Two life skills apps that I love, Complete Laundry Care. Um, it actually shows you by load. So if it's a load of whites, colors, darks, you know, whatever it is, takes you through and um, takes you through the steps, how to sort laundry, what the different icons mean, uh, has a timer. And then the photo cookbook is just basically recipes um, that also have clearly explained um, pictures for each step and that's it. So if you wouldn't mind filling out your um, evaluation, I'm sure Liz has put the link in the chat. She has. Um, if you uh, fill out the survey, if you get to a question that really didn't pertain to this particular webinar, if you would wouldn't mind marking NA, that would help us out. And then be sure to put your email address so we can put you in our monthly drawing. And if you have any questions specific to yourself, your child, your client, your student, um, please feel free to email us and we will try to help you out. I'd like to thank you for attending today. Liz, do you wanna tell them when the next upcoming webinars are? The next webinar is reading apps on Thursday, December 9 at 10 a.m. And I will pres be presenting this one, the one yeah. from today in Spanish on December 10th at 10 a.m. Thank you. And that's it. One minute to spare. Woo. You're very welcome. Thank you for attending. And again, if you have specific questions, please email us. And I will send a copy of the presentation in about one hour. Okay. Uh, really quick, if you want to see any of our pre recorded, um, if you missed any of our webinars, we do have them available on our YouTube channel. This one will be up um, by the end of the week. Thank you so much.